Okay, good morning. Today we're going to discuss the energy of chemical reactions. All right, chemical reactions always evolve a change in energy. When you have a chemical reaction, energy, usually heat, but sometimes light or sound or other forms of energy, is released or absorbed. Similar to the law of conservation of mass, we have something called the law of conservation of energy. And that states that energy is neither created nor destroyed, but it does change form. Okay. Some reactions give off heat. We call them exothermic reactions. So think about exiting heat. Therm meaning heat. Exit. All right, so heat is given off. And then we have endothermic. Think of in heat. When other reactions absorb heat, those are called endothermic reactions. Okay, so the first reactions we're going to talk about are in exothermic reactions. And they release energy. All right, chemical reactions that release energy are called exothermic reactions. The energy that is released was originally stored in the chemical bonds of the reactants. So those bonds, those either covalent or ionic bonds that are holding those chemicals together, those elements together, contain energy. And when those bonds are broken, energy is released. Okay? Oftentimes, the heat given off causes the, pro the products to feel hot. All right, any reaction that involves combustion or burning or things like that are exothermic reactions. So if you see like a carbon-based fuel like methane or, or even, even simple sugars, C6H12O6 plus oxygen, okay, when you see them reacting with oxygen, you'll, that's a combustion reaction. If there is carbon dioxide in the, in the products, you'll see that heat is given off, okay? So you have the chemical bonds and the reactants. being broken, and then what they do is they release heat energy. Okay, and here you have, this is methane, this is a combustion reaction here, reacting with oxygen, producing carbon dioxide and water, and giving off heat energy. Okay, another, ex another example of a exothermic reaction is magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid, causes the bonds to the chemical bonds to split apart in the hydrochloric acid the magnesium takes the place of the hydrogen and produce and gives off heat energy okay when we talk about endothermic reactions we're talking about chemical reactions in which energy is absorbed okay energy is required for the reaction to occur so heat energy from the environment is absorbed into the reactants which causes them to feel cool okay Oftentimes, the energy absorbed can be in the form of heat energy or even electrical energy. Okay? So the reactants absorb the energy and give off products. All right? And they feel cooler. You, you know this from um, ice packs where you have uh, uh, ammonium nitrate, all right, that reacts with water. And absorbs the, those that reaction causes the ions to absorb heat energy from from their environment. And the ice pack feels cool. Okay, so once again they absorb heat. Here down bottom we have the reaction of citric acid and sodium um, bicarbonate reacting with one another. They absorb heat energy and they produce carbon dioxide, water, and sodium citrate. Okay. Also, if you add a, a electrical energy to metal oxides, like 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 a, like a pure metal and oxygen, what happens is they'll split the metal and oxygen apart. Okay, adding electrical energy to sodium chloride. You'll see this with new pool filtration systems where you have sodium with sodium chloride. It mixed in with the water, and you have an electrical unit attached to the pump that separates the sodium and the chloride, so you don't need to use chlorine anymore. You can just pour bags of salt into your pool, and it's called a sa like a saline solution type pool, a salt water pool, if you will. Okay, so you have two types of reactions that we're going to discuss this year. Exothermic reactions, which are reactions that give off heat. You'll know them mainly as combustion reactions, but as you saw, you saw the magnesium and hydrochloric acid reaction and endothermic reactions, where you have reactions of the reactants that absorb heat energy from their environment.
while they in the production of new products. Okay. If you have any questions, please write them down. We can discuss it in class, uh, and we'll see you soon.